This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm with a champ, Lyndon Arthur. Firstly, happy birthday for the other day. How was it? A chilled one? Yeah, it's just a chill one. Can't do too much till I get this guy out of the way. Of course, you're back in the ring July 10th. The thing that was keeping you out of the ring was your hand. Um, when did it kind of heal up properly, Lyndon? Um, do you know what? It was, it was taking a lot longer than, than I thought it would. A lot longer than my left arm did. But then I went and had some acupuncture. Um, with Natalie Epstein, a great physio, and um, yeah, it, it, it kind of went the, the next day. Weirdly, like I could throw it, and then, and then more and more and more, I could throw it and throw it, and the pain went less and less and less. So, you know, it took, probably took about five months, but acupuncture worked. So before July 10th, how many kind of weeks do you think you would have had in the gym, sparring, etc., with, with a good hand? Um, I think enough. <laughs> enough, yeah, enough, yeah, yeah, but enough, enough time to throw it, enough time to, to hit the bags with it, enough time to know that if I miss a punch, it's not going to hurt, like, it, like the pain I was getting um, prior to the operation and stuff, so I'm, I'm, I'm good. Where do you think you are uh, mentally as well? Obviously, until the Anthony Yard fight, I think people will talk about Boatsy, Anthony, Callum, etc. So after you went and beat Anthony, now you're putting yourself right at the top of, of the mix. So mentally, how, how's it kind of been the last few months being the man, if you like? I don't see myself as the man. I'm not a, I'm not a world champion yet. Um, domestically, though? I mean, I'm domestically now people will talk about me, but that doesn't mean being a man. I have to still, you know, I'm not finished. Um, I still have to go and prove that I'm, I'm, I'm capable of, of, of becoming where I think, I would believe that I'm going to go in life and in boxing. So I don't see myself as a man. I just, I just, you just get a bit more credit from people that never give credit you before or a bit more belief from people that didn't believe in you before. So it's not, you know, it's just a stepping stone in the direction I'm going. Of course, we expected you and Anthony to have that, that rematch, but you're both on this bill. Uh, you're fighting guys that... Um, if you like a tick over fight, you know, I'm going to look over them, but they are tick over fights for the, for the pair of you. In your opinion, why isn't that fight happening? And secondly, does it suit does it suit you not having that fight straight away? Um, I'm 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 focused on David Faraci, um, so I'm not really bothered about that fight okay. until I feel until I beat this kid. What do you think Faraci brings to the table? Have you seen much of it, Lyndon? Um, from I've seen bits on YouTube. I've um, He's, he's undefeated. I know he's been an Italian champion. I know he, on box track he's Italian number one. Um, he's beat a few undefeated kids. He's not, you know, he's not, he's not. His, his rec I mean, I'm not going to say his record is padded because he's, he's beat, he's, he's beat a couple of people with winning records and stuff like that. So he's probably a prospect in Italy, um, as I was a prospect in Manchester, kind of thing, I guess. So I cannot, I cannot overlook him. No, definitely not. And. <laughs> we, you know, once you, you, you get past him, uh, when you get past him, in your opinion, um, do you believe that, I know you don't want to think about it, but do you believe that rematch will happen after this one? We'll see. Yeah? We'll see. Well, I guess you, both your careers don't depend on each other, but, but is there anything, can you reveal anything contractually that will, will force you to have it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I talked about as part of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, part of it. Um, yeah, so July 10th, do you think we will see anything different perhaps from Lyndon Arthur? Obviously, you've had a lot of time out the ring, uh, not so much to, to work in it because you're around, but are we going to see anything different from Lyndon perhaps? Um, I'd probably form my right hand a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, I'll land it and hopefully, I'll knock him out. So, you know, it'd be good to get back out there and back in front of a crowd for the first time in a couple of years and get a knockout. Mm. So, I'll probably look for that. Have you boxed at the Royal Albert Hall before? I have a beat yard there. They didn't knock the ruler. Oh. No, that was, was a it? church house, man. That was a church house. Oh, so no, I'm not boxing. Hey, yeah, it's nice, though. It's a historic like, yeah, yeah, place, yeah, yeah. so, uh, yeah. Is that the circle place? Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not boxing. Listen, uh, you look to put on a, a really good display back in front of the fans at Royal Albert Hall, live on BT Sport. Is there anything you'd like to add, perhaps, before we go, Linda? No, just tune in. Yeah. Tune in, watch me main event again for the third time. It's going to be fun. That's one, Linden. Appreciate your time on IFL TV, and I'm sure we'll have a catch up on Fight Week, alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah.